Hi everyone, Daryl Bradley here at the 2020 WCBT Tour Championship in Sherwood Park, Alberta at Sherwood Bowl. It's going to be a fantastic day of five pin bowling where some of the best bowlers across Canada are going to be competing and looking to win a big prize pool and be crowned 2020 Tour Champion. Sitting here with number one ranked bowler Dexter Wiseman from Sherwood Park. Dexter, Tell me about your thoughts. First day, back under the lights. Um, you you bowled in the tour finales a couple years before. Just heading into today, how you feel and how are things going? Uh, I feel great. Uh, I've had a good year. I've come out uh, a lot this summer or the last couple of weeks and we've thrown a lot of balls and I, I feel as sharp as I probably have ever been. Um, I, I think I'm probably a little bit more comfortable in these situations than a lot of people. So. Um, feeling pretty confident and really excited for the weekend. Yeah, you made some good points there. Um, you know, the first one is that you've been able to throw a lot of balls lately. Obviously with COVID-19 and the pandemic, some bowling centers and leagues and tournaments have been shut down. How have you been able to keep yourself sharp uh, in bowling? Obviously, you know, Dexter, you are a proprietor, so you have a little bit of a benefit that you, you do own the bowling alley, so you have access to be able to throw some balls. Have you taken advantage of that, or has it really just been in the last few weeks that you really get in that game sharp again? Uh, ultimately, it's been uh, just the last couple of weeks, truly. Uh, I haven't really had a whole lot of breaks in the summer uh, over the last number of years, so um, I did take the opportunity to have a bit of a break this summer. Um, but so over the last couple of weeks, I've thrown the balls quite a bit, but uh, not so much before that. Um, but for those who are watching, we do, we do podcasts and stuff every week as well. Um, and that doesn't really translate into the physical side of the game, but uh, it definitely keeps my mind sharp and constantly thinking about the game. And I, I think that translates well into situations like this. That's great. Now, you've had a great season. You, the, the, the tournaments, you've, you've had a fifth place finish, you've had a third place finish, you've had a second place finish. In the world of five pin bowling, there's a lot of competitors. There's you know, 200 plus competitors. So to have a season of that with three top five finishes, you must be able to gain some experience and gain some, some confidence in knowing that you can compete against the best out of the uh, on a day like this or any given tournament. So does that, uh, you, is your draw from those previous experiences? Uh, ab absolutely. I mean, all of that plays into any of these sort of situations. Um, but I think more than that is being on the Tour Finals two years ago before this. Um, I think that really makes a big difference um, in playing in these situations. Yes. Because it is a really unique situation and uh, it, it's totally different from any of the other cash tournaments. Cameras are right in your face, people are right in your face, um, it's one-on-one -on -one and everything is focused on you, whereas until you get to the finals of the other tournaments, it's not, it's not really like that. Um, yeah, especially things like the odd moment and whatnot, so unless you're in the finals for like TPC or Vagina, something like that, um, the focus isn't always solely on you, so I'm really drawing up on the experience in the last couple of years. Yeah, because you have had that uh, tour finals experience, you know, two years ago uh, you lost uh, in the semifinals. Uh, the Tyler take gap, and then uh, actually that was in the finals. In the finals, oh, yes. sorry, my yeah. bad. Uh, and then last year you lost uh, as well in your first match. Yes. But you know what? You do have the experience of bowling under the lights, ready to go. Um, any sort of a quick game plan? Obviously, you know your first match. You're, you have a bye in the first round. Yes. So you have uh, the two players, Taylor and Michelle, and Steve Cummings play in the first. Any preference? Have you thought about it, or is it really doesn't matter? You know, when it comes to that time, and you'll refocus once you know where you're playing. Yeah. Uh, ultimately, there's really no preference on that end. Uh, scoring has been really good here, uh, so I, I mean, ultimately, um, everybody's going to be able to throw lots of strikes, and, and you're going to have to. Yep. Um, so really, my focus is just to, my, my game plan is just to focus on myself, right. uh, focus on my execution, and not even worry or care about what they're doing. Because at the end of the day, we're all going to have to throw a ton of strikes. Um, so why focus on what they're doing when all you can do is go up and throw the strikes for you? Now, now speaking of that, um, you are probably one of the quicker bowlers on tour. Uh, is that something you're going to carry into today? Uh, as far as quick, I mean, you, you sort of get the ball, you get yourself set, and you're off and going. Some of the other bowlers are getting their ball, they're standing, they're washing it, they're cleaning it, they're standing and going. There's not a whole lot there. Is that sort of your strategy, or is that just the way you do things, or is there any, any thought to that? Yeah, so my, my strategy will not change in that aspect at all. Um, ultimately, that's something that I developed over years because I wanted to stop thinking about things before my approach. Um, other people, they do it all the time. Um, you know, I, I don't know what they're thinking about when they're up there, but they think about a lot of things up on the lane to get focused. Um, I know what I need to do. I know what my game plan is before I get up on the approach, and um, I have a few things I think about during my approach, uh, but I try to go quick so that I don't have all those extra thoughts that are counterproductive to what I need to do. 
Um, so yeah, my strategy will not change. Um, if I do end up facing somebody like Taylor Michelle, who is just as quick, if not quicker than I am, you guys might be in for a real fast match. <laughs> we, we better be ready to be on our toes. Right. Well, yeah. best of luck to you, Dexter. I know you're going to be kind of sitting and waiting and seeing who you play. So when that time comes, you know, wish you the best of luck. Uh, continued success. You've had a great year. It wouldn't be great to just cap it off with the uh, name on a trophy at the end of the year. So, sure. so go get it. Thank you very much.